Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting rational functions. Um, we've been talking about multiplying and dividing them so far already, so today we're going to look at adding and subtracting them. Now we're going to start off with if they have the same denominator, because this is pretty easy. If you remember with any fraction, if you're going to add fractions, they have to have the same denominator. Uh, we actually will keep that same denominator exactly the same, and then we'll just add the numerators together. So looking at this uh, rational function here, we notice that they have the same denominator. So we will keep that same denominator, and we will add the numerators to get 10. Now please recognize that I am allowed to reduce this by 2 so that it will become 5 over 2x for my final answer. Even when it was looking something like this, as long as they have the same denominator, I'm okay to go ahead and either add or, in this case, subtract them. Um, and so I'll keep that same denominator. And when I bring this over, I'll understand that it's negative 2x, and I'm subtracting 12 from that. Now, you don't want to leave your answer like that. You need to be able to recognize that I can, do, I can factor this numerator here. I can pull out a greatest common factor of negative 2. And if I pull out a negative 2, that leaves me with x plus 6 which will cancel the x plus 6 in the denominator, and I'm just left with negative 2 for my final answer there. So if they have the same denominator, keep that denominator, add the numerator, uh, see if anything will factor to make anything cancel. All right, so here are a couple of problems for you guys to try then. Um, I'll go ahead and work through some of these. If you want to pause the video and then restart it back to check your answers, that would probably be good. Okay, so hopefully those are the answers that you are getting to for those. It's pretty easy when you are having the same denominator. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to add and subtract when they do not have the same denominator. So just as kind of an intermediate step, still in this video, we're going to look at how to get the least common denominator, um, kind of least common multiple between two polynomials, because that's what we'll need to do for our denominators to be able to add. And what I mean is, if you had uh, two fractions that did not have the same denominator and you wanted to add them, remember they have to have the same denominator. So what I'll have to do is look at this guy and say, well, he has a D and he doesn't. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to give him a D, but I have to do it to the top and to the bottom. And then I have to say, okay, well, he has a C and a D now, and he only has a D. So now I need to give him a C, but I'm gonna have to give it to the numerator also. So now we rewrite understanding that now they have the same denominator, I can put them together as one big fraction. So we have this A times D adding with B times C over the same denominator now. So, but the thing is, we're going to be having polynomials like this. So what you want to do is you have to factor first to see really what